What's up? This is your boy Super and I'm playing Seven Days to Die. We're still lost, starving, dehydrated, stranded in the middle of the dark, in the middle of nowhere, being chased by god awful creatures. I don't know if it's just been our terrible luck or if the game's really this challenging. Now we're hunted again. I'm sure after you get established and you get a base, things become just as shockingly easy. That's kind of how I felt about Minecraft. We're, you know, we're definitely going to have to build our own base and start from scratch, wherever we are. Because we're going to just starve to death and run from zombie to zombie over and over again. Until we have... Some type of... Stability in our life. God... Damn, these guys are chasing us far as hell. Must be some type of super zombie. At least we're not freaking cold anymore. We're undetected, finally. And we're at a house. Well, let's hope everything goes well. Some arrowheads. And we're hunched again. Jesus, dude. It's us. Back in the desert with the yucca. Here they go. But yucca, you know what yucca is, don't you? That's food. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Say, so you know what food is, don't you? Food is stamina. You know, we're running out of right at the moment, don't you? Stamina. We're gonna die right here, right now. That sounds like it's a wolf or something. You're so lucky to have this yuck, I'll tell you what. As much as the terrible time I was having and how much I have hated the desert, here we are being saved by the desert. Sensed. Okay. Sensed. Sensed is better than hunted. Gonna need rocks and wasted our campfires. Sense still. Turn into a cactus. Sense still. Some type of brass doorknob or something. We're out of yucca now. Still starving. Okay. Undetected, thank God. And a building. Where's all my yucca? Hunted. Because he was at our building and behind our building. There's like seven of them, dude. Look at this. We're freaking surrounded. Literally freaking surrounded. Naked with no weapons, no armor. No food, no water. And we're just running into more and more and more as we run away. And there's another one. And in three more days, they're all going to come and kill us. You really need to just stay in one place in the start of the game and get established. You really have no other option. I think we're even gonna freaking start a new game, jeez. Make sure the options are on easy and the default level. All these level ups and everything aren't doing any good. I don't know what is the deal. 
Really? Absolutely bewildered. We're about to run into the boundary and die from radiation, too. We reached another special zombie. Does not want to stop chasing us. It's freaking fast, too. Freaking fast. Done for. Yeah, we're definitely starting again. This has been the most terrible, god awful experience playing in a game. Don't know what the problem is. Absolutely insane. The only other experience as bad as this playing game is when you try to play a multiplayer only game solo. But I know that's not what this is. Because there were times when I could see myself, yeah, we're doing good, I'm going to make it. And then, for some reason, our luck just went terribly wrong. That looks like the guy from How to Survive. game, default world, local game options, standard options, scavenger, easiest setting, zombies, sets the condition of zombies running and walking, default is walk, day, run, night, we're going to put it on never run, aggression, normal, day length, 16, modded options, we got drop on death, everything, tool belt only, backpack only, delete all, Okay, we'll, we'll leave it on everything, I guess. Enemy memory, we'll put that down at 30. Enemy spawning, low. Block durability, loot respawn time, loot abundance. Airdrops, 24 hour cycles. Yeah, I don't want to really mess with any of these. Rule sets, I don't really know anything about that either. So I guess this is going to be just like a test game because I would prefer to play it on normal difficulty. And you know, I know, I know, I have a feeling that we're going to reach a point where I'm like, this is too easy. I need to switch up the difficulty. There's just with survival games when you start naked with nothing, you know, and then you have a steady supply of resources. It makes a big difference. You know, from being naked with nothing to a full set of tools really does, in a game and in real life, change everything. You know? And I don't want to play the whole thing on easy if I know it's going to be easy in a minute. So where are we at? Should probably just stay wherever the hell they put me until we're in the forest. That's nice. That's very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Snowberry. In the freaking forest? Okay, I guess we'll start in this building. Two hands. Stay somewhere until you feel comfortable traveling. That's what I'm going to do.
crap that wall. I'm gonna go up into the house. Don't know what that was. Got a bed, which is useless. The same fireplace, the same table, trap doors. No second room with kitchen cabinets or anything. What the fuck was on the ground there? You got anything good? No. We need to get rid of this couch and bed and chair. I don't think we'll be well equipped enough for the table anytime soon. We'll put the bedroll in the house, so. Right on the. Oh, damn it. That's gonna take freaking forever. Fist works better. If you take a break between swings, bed roll. All right. Next up, clothes, right? No, small stone for a lay pickaxe. We got some berries. Very useful. Very, very useful. Of course, we can't get nothing from that. We need a torch to see the damn stones, even in daylight. The hell? Did they not respawn the loot? What the hell? Look at all this golden rod and cotton right by our starting area. Don't really have a use to pick it up right now. There's a rock, though. Golden rod would probably come in useful. It's a big ass rock over there. Alright, one more stone. There we go. Craft a stone X. Of course I will. And I will smash these other stones. Then I will gather these plant fibers. Just three. 120 of them. I grab 120 of them. I was just kidding. I know we do need a lot. Glad to know we can drink any water we want. Say clothing, I guess. Gloves, hood, pants, shirt, shoes, gloves, hood, pants, Shirt shoes, come on. Shirt. Shoes. So our bedroll should be marked still. Yes, indeed. Awesome. Wooden club, alright.
like to see what kind of damage it does compared to our axe. Four damage and our axe does 1.9. That's a big improvement. I like that. Need more wood. Fucking that street light, that's cool. Right across from my house. Feathers, uh -oh. Got one jar so far. Yeah. There's one. Seven feather, one egg. It's another one. We're also gonna need plenty of feathers for arrows. There's 20. If I was decent at shooting, I would say that'd be plenty, but we're gonna need a lot more. It's a good general rule for survival crafting games. If you need an ingredient, you might as well get an overabundance of it whenever you need it. So if you do that for the first couple hours of the game, it'll be a lot easier in the middle for the next couple hours. There's a big learning peak in the middle of the beginning of the game but it's true to to life and survival and everything I don't think we're gonna be wasting time trying to find another there it is okay come on 20. We could have 40 freaking feathers out there. Yeah. Because we're going to need, however they say, two. They want us to craft two arrows. No, we need to craft 200 arrows. Okay, come on, birds, in this way, yeah. Um, so we would have been spotted by now if I hadn't turned the difficulty down. Where are all the freaking zombies? How kind of plant is that? Snowberry? There we go, another bird's this five, damn. If we get another 20, I'll continue with the quest line. Come on, buddy. That looked like some berries. No, I guess it wasn't. Is that a bird or garbage over there? Probably garbage. Yeah, we gotta we gotta walk around this. Oh shit. It's a dog. He only 
probably took one hit from our club here. Is he dead? Why can't we search him? We gotta like loot him or something. I don't know which is better, probably the axe. We're trying to cut him up. There's eight, eight damage and our club does oh, a lot more. Oh, probably the same amount, really. We need a knife. We got some type of cut or something. You're bleeding out. First aid bandage. Playing doctor, trophy earned. Stop a critical bleed out with a bandage. Is that first aid bandage or first aid kit? Okay. But I still need a bird's nest. As much fun as that was, it's not gonna put food on the table. Or arrows in my quiver. I think it would be kind of strange. There's one. I was say it would be strange to find bird's nest in a burnt down forest fire area. We got 16. I think that'll be enough for me. Sink. <coughs> Two jars. Lovely. I also got a toilet. I bet you there's something in there. Got three more jars. Freaking outstanding. Absolutely superb. Just about to say, all we need now is some food. This is a coal mound. Some type of rock or nitrate powder. I'm sure it'll come in useful sometime. Got another, an empty one. Got to repair our damn axe. Well, we're not going to get all of this. It's right across the street from our house. It, That one was a coal mine. Coal might be a little bit more useful. Yes, sirree. So our, our stone axe does 11. Our club does 3. Okay, definitely stone axe. Then. Got the whole thing. Got a car and a box. What is that? Auger schematic. We can mine and dig down to the earth with that. Consider it red. It's in the car, nothing. Any iron? Iron will come in very useful in fortifying or base. Really healing fast. We need a snack. Love it, love it, love it. Cloth will also come very, come very useful. Maybe the gas too. We could put it in the campfire. See how that works. I don't think it can go wrong. You got for me bullets and arrows, lovely steel arrows. And our quest was to build a bow and arrow. Yeah, if this if this works, is this fuel we're getting from destroying this car works as gas? We, no reason for us to stop. Besides to loot other things, ha 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 ha. Got some painkillers. Got 
Got some nails. And definitely stay in one spot till you feel confident to go out and travel. Very good advice. We got clay. Where we got that? Uh, in one of our other attempts, I was thinking, we, I saw that we needed that for something I wanted to craft, and I was like, we got to get a shovel. And then after we died and started a new attempt, we got a shovel, but I wasn't in a situation that allowed me to craft that thing that we wanted to shovel for and wanted the clay for. And now we, well, we don't have the shovel now, but we got the clay. Fire is going to burn for eternity. Might as well craft our wooden bow. Some arrows. How many can we craft? 17, that's it. Okay. Basic survival six, quest 6 out of 8 complete. Wood frames. Alright. Take down this, this pine tree, or this conifer, this spruce, whatever it is. Go down. I'm gonna take the dead ones too. I don't. I don't discriminate. One shot, all the better. I got a couple stones, a couple pieces of iron. Cannot wait to build this forge, cause I will be tooled, equipped, and ready for action. good about having all this gas we can use for wood for actual useful things like wooden frames wooden doors wooden chests we need a better axe soon though this is not worth its weight right now What is that? About 500, I guess that's alright. So wooden blocks, I don't know where we should put these. I guess we can put them outside our door. Like, like a choke point. We would need four to do that though. Properly, anyway. It will also help us to find it in odd situations. I put it right in front of the door, damn it. Two and three. Now I need to upgrade them. Just max them out. We even got some iron in on that one. Now we're out of iron. Damn, one car doesn't give you very much iron. Got the trash pile. Need small stone for a campfire. We can get it from right here. Just enough. Campfire. Cannot see. We really probably should upgrade our door as soon as possible. Okay, looking good. And our campfire, probably in the fireplace. Of course. Let's load it up. That's it for the tutorial. I'll go talk to the trader. And show him that you don't have no money, but you want to buy stuff anyway. Fuel. 
It's gas. I mean, fuel gas, same thing. Does that really work as fuel? It does. Hallelujah. It would really behoove us to build up the base as much as we can, as fast as we can. As far as we can without any iron. At least the two bottom rows. Sure, its mechanics are similar to Minecraft in that regard. Get rid of this lame ass bed. Not even gonna give us anything. One plant fiber, could you believe that? Clean up our house here, get your paper. God, that torch doesn't do anything. It's got corrugated steel on it, so that's where that zombie killed us so quickly last time. Cause we couldn't repair that, and he just ate right through it. couch too. At least that gave us some resources. Some cloth and some other things I think. Some wood. We're gonna have a nice ass wood cabin. We're never gonna be able to destroy this nonsense. What are, are we getting any resources? No we're not. We lost 11 iron by repairing it. We just destroyed it. Are we getting iron from this thing? I think we are. We're at 4 iron. Maybe not. I don't know how we could have just repaired something. We'll definitely destroy the chair for wood. Oh damn, we got the candle. Not getting any iron from this. Why did we? Why did we have eleven iron and just repair something? That sucks. We're never gonna get that back, and we need it. Not on this stinking table either. And our axe is broken. We got two iron from that, are you serious? Yeah, you are, wow. Okay, level one complete. We gathered a nice amount of wood. doing with their life chopping down our own porch it might not be a bad idea <sighs> rebuild it in a way that fits our needs but I really doubt it's gonna be that difficult if we just stay in one place and gather food and water when we need it. I don't think, I think we'll be able to survive the first horde or the first two hordes, maybe even more with relative ease. And if worse comes to worse, I think we could probably get out and run and 
make it back in a difficult situation, at least the first one. You know, I don't run away, be starving and dehydrated and make it back. Just losing one zombie at the last minute. And, and daylight strikes. See, we're doing so much better if we just stay in, uh, stay in one location. But now they're telling us to go and see the traitor? What the fuck? So we'll probably end up waiting until day two to go see the traitor because it's almost night time. And we have food and water to survive the night, I'm sure. We got a can of food, a bottle of clean water. Not to mention whatever berries or we can find. If you're empty, there's no need for you to be gone. You get XP for destroying trash. That's one sturdy ass piece of paper. I'm not fucking with that. The whole bags of garbage are weaker than that one newspaper. Cotton can stay here until we know what we want to do with it. What is our hunger and thirst looking like? We got 33% thirst, 82% water, we're dehydrated. So do we drink it? Yeah, we're up to 61% thirst. We're still not healing like we should. And there's no way to sleep, so I'm kind of confused about how that's going to work. Is this a strong-ass newspaper, too? And we broke our axe on the road. Yeah, that's an insanely strong piece of newspaper there. It's made out of freaking titanium or something. Jesus, it's even giving us stone when we hit it. Yeah, now that we have the fuel from the cars to heat the fire, we're going to have so much more wood to spend fortifying our destitute dwelling. Loud ass freaking tree for being so small. Night time's closing in. Wouldn't hurt to find another car. There one is. No steel, though. Or iron, I mean. So now we got a few jars. We got six jars. Which is one more than the most we've ever had. Got some oil, some yucca seed. We can plant that by our house. We got an egg to eat. Is awesome. We also got a can of food from the very beginning of the game. This night is gonna be all right. All right, we will survive the night. Eleven iron for all that work. What about this national forest sign? Sounds like it's made of metal. Looks like it's made out of wood. We're not getting any resources, regardless. And we broke our damn axe on it. Oh, I hear it. the music playing. That just must mean it's nighttime officially. Let's get the hell. Oh, look at this car. We haven't even searched it. We haven't even struck it. It's got some tin can or something in it. 
and it's giving us freaking iron. We can use the iron to upgrade our wood boxes to metal boxes. We complete. There was no back door, was there? No. That's too high for them to reach without any type of stool or stairs. We left our torch in the house. Okay, we're gonna need to carry that on us, like right now. We could probably light the fire. Got a lot of gas to put in there, man. Not really. A lot less than we used the first time. We can make some bottled water, which is awesome. But we're missing a cooking pot or a beaker. You would think that, that like, there's no tooltip telling you what it is. That just sucks. That sucks. But you could think you could use an empty jar and then put it in a different empty jar. But I guess we're lucky to even have the murky water as opposed to just empty jars. What about this tin can? We can scrap it. Go ahead. Give us some iron. What about this crushed sand? Let's scrap it. What, is that? what will that give us, I wonder? Gave us some... Um, what is this? Broken glass from the sand? That's a little more than scrapping, don't you think? What about this paper? We can drop it. <clears throat> Bet you we can put that as fuel for the fire. Yes, indeed. Small stone we can do nothing with. We can throw it as a weapon. Keep the bow. What about the nails we can scrap? I, I, I think those would become would be useful in their current form. I don't think we should scrap those. Candle is a weapon as, a, as well as a light source. Arrows. 9mm round we can scrap. It sucks it doesn't tell you what you get when you scrap it. Iron. Can we scrap iron? Didn't think so. Lump of coal. Fuel source. Okay. And what else? What, what, what else? Fuel source or ingredient for gunpowder. But we're a long way from making bullets, so I added to the fuel. <coughs> Nitrate powder. You can make gunpowder. You can find it in caves and stalagmites. You can make herbal antibiotics, fertilizer, and regular antibiotics. Don't want to scrap our jars. Can't make anything when you water yet. Oil for repair kits. I wonder what else. Yucca seed, we can plant those and get some food going. Growing. Egg, we could eat that. We could cook it. Feather, make arrows. Pine seed, infinite source of wood. We can also use it as a throwing weapon. Wow. Clay, it doesn't give us any resources with recipes. Just tells us where it can be found. That's weird, and you can't scrap it. Golden flour, let's see what the recipes. Golden rod tea to cure dysentery. We would need water for it. Okay. Raw iron, we can craft it in a forge or we can scrap it. So if we scrap it, we'll get what? Regular, uh, a smaller quantity of regular iron? We are just burning through this damn fuel. What about this brass candlestick? Can we make it into scrap brass or smelt it in a forge as a core resource? We'll, we'll scrap it for now. We have no use for brass though. But cloth is cloth. Cotton is cotton. Gunpowder is gunpowder. Wood is wood and plant fiber can be used as a weapon. What kind of weapon you can use that, uh, that as? And arrows, of course, so we're going to need a storage chest. What are we doing? What is this other thing in the way? I don't remember that. Scrapping the bronze candlestick. They gave us 45 brass. Jeez. Chest. Where did it, there it is. So put it right there. Hope we don't catch fire. Open. So we're not going to need this gunpowder. The cotton. The fabric. The brass. The iron. 
We need the golden rod. Won't need the clay. Gonna need all three of those. The yuccas. He won't need the oil or the nitrate. We're gonna wait until at least the four, first torch complete before we up, start upgrading the iron. We'll need the feather. Can't use the bullets. Can use the arrows. Don't. Won't really need the candle. Won't need the painkillers right away or the nails or the broken glass. Ooh, it's midnight, one o'clock in the morning. So we've got the wood. We were working on the second level. We made it to this window here. This, this noise, these noises will attract zombies. That's what happened to us before. They won't be able to get in. Get a lot of XP too. The door is complete. Can't see what I'm doing. Must have passed over the metal grating. We just Saved, auto saved. 1 a.m. Cruising right along here. And then I would rather work on the, the door and the floor as opposed to the third segment of the wall. But I think we're finished with the door. We got wood. Oh, that's stone. And I know there's some holes in the floor. Oh, there's one. We can probably upgrade the basic floor anyway. Yes, we definitely can. Not really all that important. I actually think it'd be a waste of wood. I'm thinking maybe if we at least board up the windows, it'll help with the noise and the light. the right object that was that was but we also won't be able to see when it's light out do we run out of wood or something there we go we got this nasty ass segment of wall and we'll do this one. Looks a lot better. Got more windows over here. Okay, what can we craft? Cobblestone frame bedroll. Shouldn't we have a bedroll here? Right. It's gone. Our bedroll is gone. Well, I don't want to fall through the floor. That's better. Yeah, we used to. Is there a bedroll anywhere on our map? Is this. What is this? I think that is a bit. No, it's a traitor for our mission. Where did our bedroll go? I thought I put it right up. And I thought this was back up against this wall. And I thought the bedroll was right there. We might have accidentally destroyed it thinking it was garbage. Fortunately, we can craft another one. Can't make any cobblestone yet. 
Our door is fine. The shovel we definitely make. Wooden bow, wooden club, wooden ladder. Okay, we have no use for. I guess we'll put it behind our chest to make it look better. We don't want to cover the trap door though. That's that's beautiful right there. And the shovel. We'll put that in a hot bar. Thinking about cooking the egg, drinking the murky water. Health is looking a little low. We kind of can't craft anything useful. 3 a.m. I must be lonely. Food is at 63, water is at 40. Still only have the murky water and empty jars. There's no snow around here either. Our skill tree would, could use a good perusing. We got all firearms, weapons, tools, traps, clothing, scavenging, trading, health, fitness, and crafting miscellaneous. What about the survivor skill? What does that give us? Hunger, degradation, plus zero. Well, why would we buy it? Camel, thirst, degradation, plus zero. So much thirst so you don't have to drink as much. The survivor, so much your metabolism so you don't have to eat as often. Gain more wellness from everything you do eat. Athletics, we can try to upgrade. It'll give us... Lower stamina degradation and breath hold duration. Can also, also do medicine. I think we could do athletics. Now that we have athletics level one. Wonder if that unlocked anything else for us. Well technically it did, but we don't have the skill points to purchase it. Because it says next level requirements for these two are athletics level one, which we just obtained, but that cost 10 points. Survivor athletics level two costs one point. Or we could put that in another category like weapons crafting or something. Well, blunt weapons, upgrade that. It's a very small. I don't know what harvest count means. It minus is 100%? What the hell does that mean? Blade weapons, archery. Archery might be useful, but it's just plus zero damage. That's not very appealing. Construction tools. Do more damage and harvest faster. Gain skill by using items. Block damage. What's the block button? That does sound like a pretty useful thing. Generally, though, if you're overlooking the block damage, whatever the hell that means. Tools, we think we can upgrade that. Not, not, not immediately useful in the beginning of the game, more of an end, later game type thing, it looks like to me. You're doing more damaging, harvesting faster, I don't know. Armor smithing. We can't make armor. Scavenging. Loot time. That's not what I wanted to see by scavenging. Athletics is probably the most useful at the moment. <coughs> so far we've got it at level 5. Science. Crafting time and repair time and things like that. <coughs> Archery. It's, don't give us anything for the first upgrade. Let's do it anyway. Then it's only plus one percent entity damage. Let's do armor smithing. And then melee weapons. 
Blunt weapon, can we do that still? Yeah. Plus one percent damage increased on the next level. That's all our points. <clears throat> Five and AM. Still not regaining regenerating our health. I'll have to see the wizard over here. Should play a some type of, there's the sun, I see the sun's coming up. And we just checkpointed some. Pretty sure it's, we're all right to go. As good as we'll ever be. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of us. What a sunrise. Trying to keep a good lookout for zombies. Found one, but we're undetected still. And a deer over there. We're in the forest fire zone. We should have a bow, don't we? Yeah. Crafted all the arrows and we're not even... Uh oh, it's, now it's daylight. Let's see if we can kill this damn deer. Oh, we're hunted. Oh no. Did we hit it? It looked like we hit it. I don't see any blood though. Still hunted. Freaking god awful experience. This is a big ass house. Lots of zombies too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Our stamina is a lot better thanks to those upgrades though. Still not good enough for these damn zombies. Right on our ass. Oh no, we're undetected. Let's keep it that way. Should be pretty close to our destination. Regard regardless of zombies. <coughs> 6 30 a.m. and clear to explore the burnt wasteland. I see one over there. It's a terrible job trying to find feathers. I'd rather just avoid confrontation. Get some more gas for a fire. like a lot more than it is because we burned through it so quick just staying warm.